Hi, glad you're here. If you're interested in the nitty gritty everyday life of an artist in the art studio, then this channel is for you. I'm Mary Lou. This video is about the design principle, form follows function. I love architecture and hands-on projects and had a hankering to design a larger scale art installation. I decided the best place to get the experience would be a personal project, designing an architectural feature. So, long story short, what did I decide to design? A stairwell. Let's take a peek at the final project before I fill you in on the details. The stairwell is a tight space to shoot with the camera. I'm walking backwards down the stairs with the camera mounted on a pole and secured against one wall. Obviously, this method doesn't replace a gimbal. The static shot shows the overall design. Figuring out a design that fits the home structure and the environment took a lot of thought. I chose a nature theme and wanted a style that was a cross between Art Nouveau nature drawings and the 1940-ish WPA murals that are found in some of the historic lodges in America. So I decided to paint birds for the risers that are indigenous to this area. It was extremely fun to design the stairway. And now I want to share some tips with you about things that I learned along the way and also how I stayed focused on the form follows function theory. So let's begin with tip one. First things first, analyze the function and form of your art installation. Understanding the structure and how the space will be used identifies the function of the space and needed durable, long-lasting materials. The structure outside and existing interior spaces are influenced by natural landscape views and wildlife. Using paintings of birds and filler tile that resembled tree grain or bark fulfilled the form part of the form follows function principle for this space. The materials and design will work well with the interior and exterior environment. For tip two, we need to create a budget. It's a good idea to keep track of the hours that you devote to designing and painting an art installation. Because if someone wants to commission an artwork from you, you will have a realistic idea about what you need to be charging. Also, assess your materials cost. Here's a chart assessing our materials cost. As you can see, there is considerable difference between materials cost and labor hours. Knowing your labor hours is mega important if you are going to work on a commissioned project. Tip 3. Expect surprises. Every larger installation has a surprise or a glitch. Take the time to explore, discover, and anticipate discrepancies before designing. Learn all you can about the form of your project. For instance, walls look smooth and level, but in reality, wallboard does have a bit of a wave. This means extra cutting and fitting the end tiles throughout the stairwell. Another tidbit, every stair was a little bit higher or shorter than the stair before or after. Compensation for slight variations on stair widths and heights meant that we would need to custom cut all 160 tiles for the stairwell. Based on the measurements and structure, this project was going to need a considerable time investment. Moving on to tip four, plan a design strategy for your project. Painting sequential tiles needs a system or a plan for consistency in color and design. On this project, I sketched and studied the birds first in graphite pencil. After sketching the birds, pen and ink versions were created that fit the Art Nouveau style for the project. This example of progressive paintings shows the first, second, and third fire process 
for China Painting the Tile series. Backgrounds for the paintings were completed in one firing. Sometimes you have to rethink the design. This little guy was a reject, mostly because he was a scene stealer. I felt he was out of proportion in scale to the rest of the tiles and would stand out too much rather than blend into the stairscape. So I redesigned a new tile with chickadees that fit into the bird motif more easily. Lastly, tip five, what I gained from the experience. My takeaways, larger scale projects are invaluable for learning and thinking of creative ways to solve design problems. Another takeaway you might consider if you produce large scale installations is that after all is said and done, you will have a large inventory of original artwork. I want you to know this project was a labor of love and I'm grateful for the words of encouragement from people who dropped by from time to time to check on the progress. I thank you for watching this video and I hope you are seeking moments of creativity in your day. If you like watching the life of an artist in the art studio, please subscribe to my channel by pressing the subscribe button down below. See you at the next episode.